All right, I'm here with the Powerliner 3500S, and this is a troubleshooting video for people who are just unboxing the Powerliner 3500S for the very first time, or even your Powerliner 3500 base model. When you're unboxing this unit, let's understand that the unit goes through some testing cycles as they're building it, and what they do is they come over here on the outlet valve, right here, you can see up nice and close. This outlet valve inside of here, they grease it all up with grease inside of there. In addition, the inlet valve, which is this, that you can use with a, a wrench, a channel wrench, you can unscrew this piece right here. First remove the hose and then unscrew this piece. And that's your inlet valve, right? Your siphon feed goes in your inlet. And inside there, they grease it all up as well. So when you're testing your unit with water for the very first time, what happens is the water and the grease don't mix, right? And so the grease stays in there and it prevents it from priming. So when you start your unit on recirculate mode, you end up finding that it's gonna go back and forth. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't because the pumping system gets clogged up with that grease. So what we recommend you do is you take acetone or some paint thinner and you clean out the grease from the outlet valve as well as the inlet valve right here on the top. And then once you clean that with acetone or thinner, you can go ahead and pump with water just like we have here. Now let's be clear, when I'm starting my unit for the very first time, I've got the pressure valve all the way out. I want the pressure valve all the way out. I've got the unit on recirculate mode on the front. So pressure out, recirculate mode. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my unit up. Let me turn it on. And what I can do is I can see my recirculate feed is working just great. And I can start to crank up my pressure right here. I'm gonna crank up my pressure nice and slow. And then I can turn it to spray mode over here. And on my pressure gauge over here, I'm gonna look at roughly about 3,000 PSI. And I can adjust it accordingly. And I'm in spray mode and I can go ahead and start to spray my lines right here. And when I go to shut down my unit, I'll put it to recirculate. And good to go. So just to be clear, on this complete unit right here, Titan does a great job at preserving the unit with the grease that's inside the inlet and outlet valves, but it can cause you problems as it relates to priming your unit and getting it going. We did have that challenge with the Powerliner 3500 from Titan, and what we just learned is that after much time, that water circulating through the system cleaned out the grease, but I could have eliminated the problem a lot earlier had I used acetone or paint thinner in the outlet valve and the inlet valve right on this Powerliner 3500S. I hope you've liked this Powerliner 3500, 3500S from Titan. This particular unit right here, make sure that you're cleaning it up nice and clean with the acetone and thinner. And then what we're able to do is get to spring these parking lot striping projects and be all set to go. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe, like, make sure that you also click that ringing bell notification, ding, so that every time we push out content, you are notified. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked this video, go ahead and check out this video or check out this video and don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe right here below.